Welcome to Graciela TV. I'm your host, Graciela Barada. Thanks for joining me in another fabulous episode of Graciela TV, where I serve up a hot dish of this and that. Today, we're going to tackle the evil, the ugly, breast monster. He's in your neighborhood. He's in your home. He is everywhere. And it's time to put him down. Okay, I know that was a little over dramatic, but in all honesty, when you're stressed, that's how any situation begins to feel over dramatic. It just continues to snowball one bad thing after another, creating unnecessary stress in your life, making everyday tasks difficult, and eventually taking a toll on your health. Doctors agree that stress is a major cause of disease. Don't underestimate it. Stress wreaks havoc on you in so many ways. Some common effects of stress are headache, muscle tension, or pain chest pain, fatigue, stomach upset, sleep problems, anxiety, restlessness, lack of motivation or focus, irritability or anger, sadness or depression, overeating or undereating, angry outbursts, drug or alcohol abuse, tobacco use, social withdrawal, just to name a few. Today I'm going to share with you 10 simple doable solutions to relieve stress so that you can do what you gotta do with a smile. Number one, breathing techniques. Breathing techniques are frequently underrated, especially in the Western world. If you notice when you're stressed, your breathing patterns change and they become quicker, more shallow and agitated, which is not a good thing. You wanna to try to change those breathing patterns as soon as possible. So take a moment to sit down in a comfortable chair or even stand in a place that you won't be interrupted for just a few minutes. Now you want to expel all the air in your lungs by contracting your abdominal muscles. When your lungs are empty, take a full deep breath and expand your lungs and your abdomen. Breathe in a particular pattern, like four counts in and four counts out. Number two is exercise. Any form of exercise is an excellent stress reliever. If you've got a lot of energy to get out, do some aerobic activity like running, kickboxing, aerobics class, or play a sport. If you need to calm down and simply relax, yoga and tai chi are great as well as walking in nature. Be sure to breathe deeply during any exercise to help facilitate movement and get the oxygen flowing through your lungs. Try two of my favorite yoga poses. The first one is tree pose. Think about grounding your standing leg into the floor and pulling up from your navel upwards as you breathe deeply. Next is Proud Warrior. As you lunge forward, you want to focus on keeping your weight centered between both legs and looking over your fingertips. Be sure to breathe deeply. Number three, change your physiology. You want to change the way your body responds to stressful situations. As I mentioned earlier, your body takes on certain physical characteristics when under stress, such as shallow, agitated breathing, muscles tense up, maybe you shrug your shoulders, cross your arms, or shake your foot. You want to stop any of those physical responses immediately and revert to the way your body reacts to a happy and calm situation. When your body is in a happy and calm state, you're physically more open and receptive to good energy. Take a good deep breath in and stretch your arms up above your head. And exhale the stress. Do it again with feet apart. Number four, 
Number four, aromatherapy. Although it is a relatively newer term, aromatherapy has been around for centuries. Lavender and chamomile are some really great essential oils that really calm you down. You can use them on your pillow at night before going to bed. You can diffuse them in an oil burner or just simply smell them straight from the bottle. Number five, talk it out. Talking to a loved one can really help relieve some of your stress. You don't want to keep that stuff bottled up inside. So when I'm in a stressful situation, I'll call my sister Liana, talk to her about anything that's bothering me. Even if it's just a minute, it really helps to calm me down and get the rest of my day going. Number six, get adequate sleep and nutrition. Because when you're undernourished and overworked, it makes any stress worse and even causes stress on its own. So you wanna make sure that you're getting enough sleep and that you're eating at least three square meals a day, if not more than that. As you guys know, I'm a big advocate of small, frequent meals. Number seven, become a planner. Avoid procrastination pitfalls that only lead to stress and become good at planning things. Everything from your career goals to laundry, put it in your schedule and break it down into doable smaller tasks so that it's not overwhelming. When you make a little extra effort to plan, you reduce a lot of the stress that results from rushing around like a maniac at the last minute. And you just may be able to fit in a deep tissue massage and a cup of tea too. Number eight, that brings me to my next tip, get a massage. It doesn't have to cost you a fortune to get a little massage. Your local nail salon may offer affordable 15 or 20 minute chair massages, or you can ask a loved one to trade massages with you, or even go to the mall and stock the free massage chairs till someone asks you to get up. They even have ones that you can put a dollar in for two minutes. Massages release the feel-good endorphins in your body, which in turn reduce stress levels. So here's your excuse to get your massage on. Number nine, listen to music. Music can change your mood drastically. We've all experienced it. Relaxing and soothing music can help put you in a better mood and inspire you to respond more calmly in stressful situations. So get your iPod on, your CD player, heck, even your tape player, or shall I say A-track? <laughs> Anything you have, put your music on, your radio on, and let it inspire you to act more calmly in stressful situations. And finally, number 10, just add some color. Just like music, our bodies react to colors differently. Think about it, when you see the color pink, what does it make you think of? And how does it make you feel? A calming color is baby blue, as well as seafoam green, even a pale violet. Wear one of these colors, or paint your office or bedroom to create your calm oasis, or even look at pictures with these colors. You can do so much with colors, so experiment with them. Okay, so this is a very special episode because from now on, every episode of Graziella TV will feature a fan of the week from the Graziella TV Facebook fan page. Every week, I will give a shout out to a new GTV fan. So keep an eye out for yourself on Graziella TV. And speaking of, the very first fan of the week is, drum roll please, Tariq Abdullah. Thanks for watching and supporting Graziella TV, Tariq. You rock. Thank you guys so much for your messages and your comments and your emails. Keep them coming as always. I love hearing from you. And don't forget to like us on facebook.com slash Graziella TV. I'll see you next week. Yeah.